Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight we've got quite a mixed ba 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 of entertainment for you. I know we're in for a really good night, which I know you're going to enjoy. Make yourself comfortable. Reality. Reality. Who needs it? What is it? I shouldn't really mention it by name. I'm giving the impression that it exists. Shops, banks, high streets. They don't exist. The Houses of Parliament. Buckingham Palace. They don't exist. Homeless people. They don't exist. Poverty. They don't exist. Nothing exists. What I want to encourage amongst us all is a neo-reality. I live in my own neo-reality where everything is invisible, everything is amorphous. Neo-reality. Neo a reality free from work and earning money and paying bills. And, and we're all free. And it's a lovely place. And you're all welcome to join me. Each and every one of you. I am the Divine David. This isn't an act. <laughs> this is a state of being. Tonight I will be introducing La Rebo. Andre. We'll be watching this. Mm. This. And I'll be explaining the convoluted world of the lollipop lady or man. And now it's time for a master class. And this week I thought it would be a lot of fun to introduce you to painting. I'm going to have a little drink. A lot of artists enjoy a drink. Now what to draw, what to paint this week, what to create. Many of us have angst in our souls. We may be suffering from depression or perhaps something awful happened to us when we were really small children. Either way, art can be a very therapeutic, a very holistic experience. Now, I've taken the paper and I've put it what we call it portraiture proportions. If I had the pad the other way around, it would be landscape. Okay. You've noticed I've got a palette. Do you know what I use palettes for? I start really small fires. And then I fan the flames with the ballad. Now then, I think what we'll draw today is a member of the viewing public. I can see you out there. I think you're somewhere in Wales. Or maybe you're in Scotland. Let's assume that you're Caucasian. And let's go for a really nice rich flesh tone. Isn't that beautiful? Using a brush, but you don't have to. Don't be frightened of using your hands. Have a very hands-on approach. Two eyes, a nose, and look, a mouth, and quite a big mouth. Looks like you get quite a lot in there. Isn't that beautiful? And now, using a tangerine, perhaps some of you, I know you do, go on the sunbed. But you end up looking like little tangerines, don't you? Isn't that beautiful? Using your brush, any brush. Can you see how I'm building up the face? It's almost avant-garde. And this is one of my favorite colors, green. It reminds me of Ireland. Just using it quite liberally. Just to bring out the detailing within the face, the structure. Have you seen how I did that? Thank you. Now, a lot of us live in very sad, 
urban environment um, where we're prey to graffiti, uh, many others live in council accommodation, and we will come across graffiti. This is a tribute to graffiti. A little bit of gold. Some of us have gold teeth. That lovely. Using another color, just to bring out a bit of red. You may have had something poaching your eye. A bit of red down the lip. You may have a bleeding nostril. Perhaps you've been taking too much cocaine. Do you know that Miro spent the whole of his artistic life trying to paint like a child? Starting with the mustard, I'm using a whole grain. We're now introducing texture into the work. Isn't that lovely? And also, tomato ketchup. I know some of you put it on chips. I put it on canvas. Isn't that lovely? And it smells nice, too. Oh, this painting is called... Well, it really couldn't be called anything else. It's called... Now! You're going to love this next time. Well, at least they got off their fat ass and did something. And now it's time for Pose Bar. Last week, I sent out an appeal for mail, and you didn't let me down. I wonder what we've got. It feels kind of unusual. It's a human kneecap. Isn't that lovely? But a viewer loves the show so much that they've actually withdrawn their own kneecap. How lovely. Everybody knows of my interest in things medical and also cosmetic as I've always said there's a lovely use for the kneecap they make very decorative earrings look at this it's marked extremely urgent I wonder what it is oh it's a video let's watch it together it says it's very avant-garde
So the little boy shoved the hamster into the liquidizer. The whole family gathered round. He flicked the switch. Whirr, and you know he's been a crowd pleaser ever since. Join us after the break. I'm the Divine David. Hello and welcome. I just thought you'd like to join me at one of my favourite spots and places where I do a lot of contemplation and thinking. Plotting and planning the overthrow of the government and the total destruction of the 20th century. Well, it's a beautiful area here. It's a very serene place, and it has its own magic and tranquility. But it wasn't always like this. At one time, you would see people lined up here, and other people would come out from the tunnel just over there and come out and kill the people at random. Sometimes people on bicycles would be pushed quite unceremoniously into the canal, and I'd sit here and I'd watch people drown and feel sort of useless, really, wondering about what it used to be like many, many years ago. But if you listen, you can hear the scream of the innocents who were used and abused all around here in sweatshops and factories, the old horses pulling the barges up along here, and then, as you can see, the path stops just by the bridge. And so then they'd kill the horse and push the horse into the canal. So at some stages in the canal's history, it was absolutely chock full of decaying human beings and horse flesh. Things change. The only permanent state is change. I know that now, coming here. Hello. How lovely. I would imagine that at night people come down here and maybe reach out and touch one another. Um, reach out and caress one another, perhaps make love. Now it's very much an area of lovers. I'm getting that sense. How lovely. But it's not difficult to think that through the surface of the water, hands are rising, awful screams. Oh. Death stalks here. You can sense it. It's obviously been a place of some kind of psychic dispute, psychic pain, I'm getting, uh, I'm getting evisceration, I'm getting disembowelment. Really makes you wonder what it's all about. How weird to be put on earth in order to be either decapitated or disemboweled or in some other way mutilated, almost just for the sake of it. It's funny, you know. In show business, you can be accused of having your head shoved up your ass. And if that's true, I'd say, yes, but as long as you're sucking out the marrow of your spine, does it matter? I knew you'd enjoy staying with me here and taking it all in. And you do realize that nobody else knows you're here but me. And I feel as my contribution to the recreation of the 20th century, which I think is the only valid thing anybody could possibly do with their lives, that in the true spirit of the 20th century, you must die. And it must be me who takes your life. You could have it on your gravestone. I died to make sense of the 20th century. How lovely. Another item for my post bag. You really are spoiling me this week. Shall we have a look what it is? It's 
here's another video. I'm just sent with love. Let's watch it together. Well, that was a star, a triangle, something a bit curly-whirly and a pyramid, wasn't it? Shall we see what's on next? I just wanted to do that. This week's live in performance is that of the lollipop lady, Man. 
people that we remember from her childhood. People who stood there, all in white, with a beautiful lollipop in the air, helping the small children to go from one side of the busy road to the other. The lovely lollipop man standing four square so that arctics wouldn't plow into the small children and would save them. Looking back over my life, I have to say to the lollipop lady man, thank you for saving my life continually with your two performances. 8.15 in the morning, then a martinet later on in the afternoon. Doing your performance and not getting any credit. Nobody throwing roses to you. So thank you, lollipop lady, lollipop man. You saved me and my little life from being squashed under the wheel of an oncoming van. I lick you, lollipop lady, lollipop man. Thank you for preserving my life. I'm going now, but before I leave, let me invite you again to send me something for my mail mail bag. Perhaps you could send a postcard, a letter, a soft sculpture, so that next week we can share it with the other ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> a final thought. People in jungles won't be watching this program. I envy them. <laughs> the world is burning. Let's masturbate. People in the Houses of Parliament masturbate. People in Buckingham Palace, they masturbate. People at the United Nations, they masturbate. Watercolor artists, they masturbate. Lollipop ladies, lollipop men, masturbating. People living in substandard housing, not able to afford acrylic paint. They smash up bus shelters. And they also, especially some of the 17 year old boys, they masturbate. The world is burning. Let's masturbate. Let's, let's, let's singularly on our own, all together collectively, in celebration, in celebration of life. Don't be a stranger. The world's burning. Let's, 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 if we do nothing ever again in our lives, let us masturbate. All together collectively, let's masturbate. You and me, the world is burning. The world is burning, burn now, now, like a family. Oh, well, masturbate.